I'm Sarah Woodin, I'm a lecturer in ecology at the University of Aberdeen and I'm here at the Donmouth Nature Reserve right close to the university on a beautiful Aberdeen winter morning and if you're a student who likes wildlife or the environment Aberdeen really is a great place to be because we have such fantastic access uh, to the natural environment around us. We have the sandy beaches here, um, we have rocky shores just north and south of Aberdeen, you can go inland to the mountains and the moors and the pine forest, there's so much to see. You can actually watch porpoises and seals from the beach here. Um, you can go a bit further north up the coast and watch puffins. You can go inland and see the stags rutting in the hills. You can watch the salmon jumping in the River Dee. So if you like wildlife and the outdoors, Aberdeen's a brilliant place to be. Of course we try to make the best use we can of our local environment in our teaching and we have a real emphasis on ecology and conservation and the environment. So on ecology and conservation courses the students get brought out on field trips in class time. We also run field trips every summer and there's a selection of these to choose from. We're really fortunate in that we have three of our own field stations. One of them's just away up the coast here on the famous Sands of Forby Nature Reserve. Uh, we have another one right on the north coast of Scotland in a little village called Betty Hill. It's an absolutely fabulous location. And a third one is on the Murray Firth and that's where students get to go and study seals and dolphins which is always really popular. A really important feature of biological sciences at Aberdeen is that many of the academic staff are very actively involved in field research, both in Scotland and overseas, and this really influences what we teach the students. So in Scotland, for example, we have folk working on water voles in the mountains, we have folk working on marine food webs, we have people working on rare plants, people working on the effects of climate change, you name it, there's someone from biological sciences in Aberdeen out there doing it, not just in Scotland but in the Arctic and the tropics as well. And that's really important for the flavour of the teaching we offer at Aberdeen. We also really encourage students to get involved and every summer quite a number of students are field assistants for us in our field projects and get the opportunity to work alongside us in Scotland and in the tropics and in the Arctic which is great for us and really good experience for the students. Students in Aberdeen get the opportunity to do their own research project in the final year of their degree and many of them choose to do field-based projects. Uh, for example, I'm a plant ecologist and I work in the Arctic and the Scottish mountains and this year I've had one student working over on the west coast of Scotland, uh, one working closer to Aberdeen looking at forest regeneration I had one student on Spitsbergen in the high Arctic looking at geese on the tundra and another one in subarctic Sweden looking at climate change issues. Uh, so there's a lot of fantastic opportunities. All members of staff uh, supervise students in their own area of expertise, be it bats or dolphins or tropical forests. So numerous opportunities for your own research project. With all this field experience behind them, many of our students go on to have successful careers which involve field work. So for example, we have students working in the conservation charities in Britain, in Scottish Natural Heritage and Marine Conservation Society, the RSPB. Um, other students go and work in international conservation projects in developing countries. We have students, ex-students, working in field centres in Britain and outdoor education centres. Many of them go on to do environmental consultancy and every year some of them will go on for a career in research, researching wildlife and, in the, envi and the environment in Scotland and abroad.